Welcome to this ChatGPT image generation tutorial. If you want to create graphic design, advertisements, logo, infographics, even comic books where you put a picture of your face and you're in a comic book, well then this is the right video for you. I've been generating images for over two years now and there's one prompting tip that I really want to give to you as well as a few common pitfalls that I really want you to avoid. So by the end of this video, you're a ChatGPT image generation expert. So let's begin with step number one. Just go to chatgpt.com because this is where you can sign up and get access. If you don't have an account, just click on the sign up button and just create an account. And even if you have a free plan, you can start typing, create an image of a cat with a hat, but giant muscles. There we go, slowly revealing those abs. And thank God that the model is censored. So you can just start with easy prompts like this, but I have a prompting technique that I love to use for every image that I create, whether it's advertising, logos, or concept art, this helps a lot. It goes object plus back background plus style. So object is what you want to be the focus of the image. Like for example, tiger in samurai clothes. Background then becomes what do you see in the back? Where is the location? Standing on the top of a mountain and style is do you want it to look photorealistic or do you want it in Ghibli style? In the style of Ghibli and you've just made a perfect prompt. Just like that, an incredible image, exactly how I wanted it. But there's so much more. How does this work with graphic design? I'm gonna make a funnel that has four steps to it. And the quick tip is to add in aspect ratio 16 by nine if you want it horizontal. And this is the result. I think we're gonna try again. So what we can do then is to go to the next question to customize it with just words. And a quick tip to graphic designers, make the background transparent. This allows you to copy and paste it into any software or website without a white background. And just like that, we have the exact thing that I'm looking for with a transparent background. Pretty cool, right? But what about logo designs? I made a full logo design video that you can watch on my YouTube video. But in short, we can add an object or company. I'm gonna keep it as vague as possible. Look at this video I filmed. It has a lot of ass and ums, but if I just click on this one button and remove all, the video was edited automatically. The tool is called the script and it's a new faster way to edit videos. They have this feature called the AI Underlord that helps you go from filmed video to published video in just a few clicks. You can easily edit for clarity, add studio sound, remove filler words, remove retakes and shorten word gaps. Let me show you. I'm just gonna drag my video file in here and then it's going to start transcribing. Here you can see exactly how many ahs and ums that I was using. Just listen to the before. Hey everyone, um, today I, uh, then I'm going to click on remove filler words. It identified all of these filler words and I'm just going to click on remove all. And now this is the after. Today I wanted to talk about something pretty interesting, an incredible difference, but it gets even better. If your microphone is bad, you can use studio sound. Today I I wanted to talk about something pretty interesting. Hear how clean that is? Next, I'm gonna insert captions and I'm gonna change the style to have active word on. AI automation is basically when you take tasks, just makes it very easy to follow. And then my favorite feature, if you highlight any of the words or sentences that you use, you can use AI clone of your voice to read something that you didn't say. So let's say we wanna change AI automation over to AI agents. We click regenerate. Now listen to this, right? AI agents are basically when you, so we just edited the video in minutes instead of hours. So go check out the script by clicking the link in the description down below or scan this QR code. Thank you so much to the script for sponsoring this section of the video. Now let's get back to it. But what about logo designs? I made a full logo design video that you can watch on my YouTube video. But in short, we can add an object or a company. I'm gonna keep it as vague as possible. Just saying AI Andy in the style of logo style. This is important because there are a ton of styles. So abstract, emblem, dynamic. By changing this word at the end, you will get a drastically different logo. Let's go with abstract. Just like that, we got a beautiful 
abstract logo with the text being spelled completely right. And this is something that ChatGPT has become very good at, but can it create infographics? So let's try to make one about why it rains. This was the first result that we got, but I wanna take it one step further. I'm gonna try to make a very detailed one about all the human systems. I really love seeing it when it kind of swipes over the picture and it's like unveiling itself and the completed infographic is nothing short of breathtaking. Seeing that it gets all the text correct as well, it's just next level. So let's make an even harder prompt, making a comic book. The prompt is make a comic book strip that has six images and it represents a rags to riches story in the style of Marvel comic books. <laughs> yeah, it was actually able to do poverty. I've got a great business idea. I'll work hard and make it succeed. I've made my company a success. We did it. I'm rich at last. <laughs> this is so cool. But I'm wondering, can I put myself into the comic strip? So I'm going to drag a picture of me in here and I'll say, can you make another one? But put me as a character in the comic book. Also make it about an adventure in the woods where I get attacked by a bear. Let's see what happens. Yeah, of course it can. I'm lost in the woods. Oh no, a bear roar. I'd better run. I'll jump across the river. I made it. I'm safe. Yeah, I mean, I guess I look kind of janky, but let's edit images of yourself. So let's take this one, for example. I'll prompt turn this image into the style of Japanese illustrated manga. And here is the result that we got. Now, if we want to add color, we can easily add color by just prompting it in the bottom. But I want to test another photo. I'm gonna try using this photo, the prompt turn this image into and then object background in the style of cinematic realistic photography. This is the photo that we got. Here is my photo and here is what ChatGPT created. I bet we're gonna find some really cool implementation for this for photographers. What about this photo where I'm going down to the onsen? I'll prompt it, can you put me in a robe? in front of a natural hot spring in Japan. <laughs> All right, ChatGPT, come on now. This is the before, this is the after. It's not so great at producing my face in the different examples that I have given, but I wanna test a prompting hack to hopefully make it resemble me even more. So I'm gonna click on the image and I'm gonna click in the top right corner here where it says select. Then I'm gonna go over his face here and in the chat down here, I'm going to add an image of my face. Now let's prompt it, change the face into the new reference image. Here is the picture that I put in. And here is the image. Thank you, ChatGPT. Come on, let's try one more time to see if we can actually do me. This is the image that I'm gonna put in. So I'll pop it in there, turn this image into a piece of realistic art. There we go. This is the first prompt that I tried. It's similar, but doesn't look like me. Here is the second prompt that I tried that I actually really like. It seems like this prompt here helps a lot. And the last one with an image with the same character. <laughs> <laughs> this is so trippy because I was there and now it's him being there. <laughs> so here is image number one and the prompt. Here is image number two and the prompt. And here is image number three with the prompt as well. This prompt was the best for me. But if you have any tips, drop it in the comments below so everybody can make better images. But there is one more thing and that's multi image upload. Say for example, you take an image of a Pokemon card and you take an image of your dog. You can ask ChatGPT to, I'll prompt it, can you make a playing card that is of my dog with special abilities that you make up post? And a quick tip is that you can actually make a new chat and generate an other image while the other image is generating. This can save you a lot of time. And since we're on the topic of two image uploads, let me show you what you can do. So this is AI and the avatar 
that we used for the newsletter. So I'll paste that one in here. Now say we want to turn this into a coin like this. Let's just copy that image, paste it into ChatGPT, and prompt it make an image of the avatar on the coin. And here is the result that we got. Definitely a little bit mangled, but it almost got it 80% correct. With a little bit more prompting and testing, I bet we could get it to be perfect. With the playing card example, because we are using a Pokemon card, it is refusing to actually make that. And a hack is to actually say, but don't make it a Pokemon card, make it some other game that is similar. This also goes for if you try to do in the style of Pixar or in the style of Ghibli or Disney, it will tell you the same thing that it cannot because it violates the content policies. So that's something to keep in mind. And there we have it, a beautiful golden retriever type Pokemon card with the fetch ability and the tail whip. So now you know how to generate images with ChatGPT. If you want to take this one step further and learn how to monetize with AI, check out our school community in the description down below. This is where you can also get direct access to me and exclusive content every single week. Also, check out our sponsor in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.